What's going on then guys, it's your boy Ben Gregson or Dilemma YGO here coming at you with my first place locals war rock deck profile. Yes, you didn't mishear me. <clears throat> yes, the, 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 the title and the thumbnail are not clickbait. I won a 31 man locals, which means 5 rounds of Swiss playing war rock. Um, the critically acclaimed worst archetype. Um, Possibly worse than Ice Barriers pre-support. Um, I just decided to play it for fun. And just see how it did. Um, honestly, the deck is terrible. Um, I lucked out with some matchups. Um, but I wanted to share the deck anyway. Just because it's not as bad as people are making it out to be. It does some cool stuff. It's not the best deck in the game. But it, it's cute, right? So let's get straight into it with a... Three Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Now I realized a lot of the time when I was playing this deck that you need a blowout hand trap and I didn't want to play Dimension Shifter although Dimension Shift is probably a good shout. Um, I decided to play Ghost Reaper simply because it stops all the combo decks and all the control decks rather than just all the combo decks like Dimension Shifter does. Because if you like a Ghost Reaper Red Eyes Fusion um, after they've like said a Guru or something stupid um, or if they make 30 Anaconda, you can go Street for the Dragoon. Or if they have two Warriors on board, you can go Street for a Solde. Um, or you can like go Street for Macabre when they summon Alistair. Like this has a lot of applications that Dimension Shift doesn't have. Um, but if I was to change anything, I'd want to play Cherries and Shifter in the same list. But Cherries was good throughout the event. Um, then we have one Bashelius, technically the like the boss monster. So if you guys don't know what this card does, during a battle phase in which your rock earth warrior monster battles, quick effect, you can activate this effect, this card can attack directly this turn, uh, and all war rock monsters you control gain 200. Um, this is like the way I won most games, is just like summoning this from the graveyard with its own recursion effect, um, and just beating my opponent down with <laughs> the seal of Oracalcos on field, which is weird as that is to say, this is probably the best field spell that I found outside of mine and the actual field spell looks good and I wanted to play an additional set rotation target so I just played Oracalcos and it was very okay I was quite close to playing Gaia Power because I was playing some extra deck cards um, but chose to play Seal of Oracalcos and I'll get more into the theory on that uh, but then we're playing Triple War Rock Forshia this is like the only good monster in the deck um, so if Earth Warrior battles um, after damage calculation add a War Rock card so it just allows you to search the field spell to carry on playing. Uh, two Gactos. Uh, Gactos, when he's destroyed by card effect, floats into a level 5 or higher. We're just playing as an, as an additional name and also it's a 1900 body, which is okay in a format like this. Uh, Orpus is Foolish Burial when it battles. Um, and also you can normal summon it if you control no other monsters or just Warrock monsters. And also Vashelios has an effect where if uh, Earth Warrior is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card. Uh, but it's banishment leaves the field, and this is from the graveyard or the hand, so you use Orpus to send the big guy. Uh, one dimension fissure, like, this just goes along with the other floodgates I'm playing. I just want to stop the graveyard decks, because the graveyard decks are what float and use the graveyard, and they're quite, like, slippery when it comes to battle. Um, plus dimension shift to, like, beat, like, dimension fissure beats, like, Dragon Link and all those other decks. Um, so I really like the idea of playing D-Fissure. I didn't play Macro, simply because I played Metaverse instead. But like Dimension Fissure was good every time I drew it. Uh, one Mystic Mind for set rotation, triple duality, triple extravagance, double prosperity. Uh, this card's very, very good. This card is also very, very good. This card is mediocre, but we play it anyway. Uh, one set rotation, one terraforming, one seal of Oracalcos. This card was broken. Um, so like I set rotation this to my opponent a couple of times, and they flipped it while they had a fully established board, and that made me giggle. Um, also, like, this stops your opponent attacking, like, Forsha and Gactos while you control Bashelius, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, Seal of Oracalcos. Uh, War Rock Mountain, which is, like, Rota, and then if you're in the battle phase and you attack, you can special summon another War Rock from your hand. Uh, so it allows, like, Forsha to summon an additional monster, um, and just, like, control the game state. Uh, double Dogmatic of Punishment, simply because this is one of the best standalone traps. Metaverse to fetch our Mystic Mine, Seal of Aracalcos, and War Rock Mountain. Honestly, this just fetched Mystic Mine and nobody played out. So, <laughs> I won quite a lot of games due to the Happiness Cave. 
Uh, triple Rivalry, the Warlords, Triple Solemn Strike, Triple Soul Drain. This is very good against Virtual World. I actually beat Virtual World once in the tournament. Uh, Solemn Strike, Solemn Strike, and Soul Drain is for all the uh, the Drytron decks and all that sort of stuff. Uh, onto the extra deck, we have two Elder Entity Entis, two Macabre, three Dragoon. Um, I don't know why I played three Dragoon. I think it was just like I just needed a 15th card and just decided to put Dragoon there. Could probably just play a different one of for cherries, but it's three Dragoon, it's fine. Uh, double Nova, Double Hulk, Double Isold, and Double Mrs. Radiant. And then the side deck is Triple Dark Ruler No More, Triple Lightning Storm, The Third Punishment, Triple Evenly, Double Gozen Match, and Triple Nibiru. So, what do I have to say about Warrock after actually testing it and not making a meme video? Honestly, this deck is not the best thing in the entire world. Um, it's another one of those decks that the kids at your locals will pick up because they think it's cool and it's very cheap. And honestly, it's a pretty cool budget option. Like if you recall, if you recover, like remove. Sorry, I can't. I can't speak. But if you remove the pot cards and replace them with like other traps, this is technically viable. Um, do I think that it's going to be the next god tier Yu-Gi-Oh deck and replace Drytron and Virtual World? Absolutely not. Do I think that this deck deck is playable for now in a format that is very slow and control based? One hundred percent. A card like Revelry of the Warlords is very strong. A card like Soldrain is very strong, and being able to abuse Floodgates like this is always going to be good. Um, and any deck that can abuse Floodgates, take Guru Control for example, will always have some relevancy in a format. Obviously Guru Control has a better engine than normal Summon Pass every turn. But this deck isn't something that straight up loses to Goat Control, like everybody makes out it does. Um, I think like this going first control version of Warlock is like the best way to play it in my personal opinion. Um, but let me know what you think about Warrock in the description down below. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe. We hit 750 subs, and I'm very confused as to why you guys are subbing to me, but thank you very much. Uh, your love and support is very much appreciated. Remember to join the Discord down in the description box down below. It's been your boy Ben Gregson, or Dilemma YGO. I hope you have a fantastic day, and peace.